was talking to a friend of mine, Dr. Odaga, and she was saying, oh, Tiwa, why don't you just write a song for Nigeria? This is this perfect timing. And Nigerians need to be stirred up. We felt like there was no, there was a lot of stuff going on politically, but like the average Joe on the streets just had this, mm, I beg Joe type of feeling. So we felt like we needed to write a song that would inspire people. I wasn't so passionate about writing a song until the first of, on 31st of December when the bombs went off in Abuja. And I thought, oh my God, if there are bombs going off, it's young people behind this. And it's not young people starting this. It's basically some politician or some religious powerful man up there instigating this. And I felt like for someone to go and do that kind of dastardly act, it was because they didn't have a sense of identity or they didn't have any hope for their own personal future. So I felt like it was necessary to write a song to let Nigerians realize, especially our generation or even the generation before us, that we are the future. And if we don't take necessary steps now, then we're not going to have the future that we're hoping would happen. That was how the song started. I just started calling friends of mine, Kasim Sodangi, Fela Dutoye, Uche Made Kodumi, Larry Olushola. I would just call people that I knew, like, 5 a.m. in the morning, I'm like, okay, oh, you please, let's talk about Nigeria. And I would just write little lines from, you know, what I got from what they were saying. And then I went away for a week to work with Musa, and then that's how the song was birthed. We are the future, we are the dream, we are the nation, we are part of this. The concept of the video basically is, I mean, well, first of all, the song is very inspiring. So T.Y. and I were thinking about how could we properly represent the song because it's really powerful. Um, so I thought of this concept and I rang up like really late one evening and I said, what if um, we start off the, the, the video uh, with symbolizing things that are going wrong with Nigeria. So the first scene in the, in the video would be T.Y. coming into this scene, into this street with her hands tied. And her hands will be tied by corruption because you're going to see it there. We're going to, you know, and then there are going to be obstacles in her way that she has to overcome. And then when it gets to a certain point, um, the crowd joins her. And then they now start bringing out the positives uh, of the nation and then in placards and on T-shirts and then putting posters on the wall. And those are the things that they want to highlight at the end of it. It ends very inspirational. So I'm hoping, we have this idea in our head, I'm hoping that we're able to represent it properly in the visual. I travel around the world a lot and there's there's something I feel here that I don't feel anywhere else. Here I feel like as long as I can conceive it, the doors are wide open and I can be it. There's hope here. There's a lot of green to it, let me put it that way. And um, green symbolizes fertility, vitality, you know, things to do with life. In spite of our differences, in spite of our ethnicities and all, we still remain one. I've never heard any Nigerian go out and say, I am Igbo. I've heard most people go out and say, I am Nigerian, and proudly so. This country has content, this country has materials that the world is yet to see. I am a firm believer of Nigeria. Raise your hands in the air if you believe the future has come now. People think it's down, it's damaged, it's bad, but really, it's just beginning to become great. So to create a new Nigeria, we must stop saying those things and begin to see something new. Not wait for somebody to be the change, but we should be that change. We must believe in a new Nigeria and we must start to confess and declare with our mouths the new Nigeria of our dreams. I believe in Nigeria, I believe in the potential of Nigeria, and I believe that Nigeria has a bright future. We can look beyond the issues that face us now as a people and look at tomorrow. Nobody can hold us down anymore. I am the future. I am the future. I am the future. My name is Alalo Aino. I am the future. My name is Okolo Akela and I believe I am the future. 
What I hope to achieve with this song, I hope that when people hear it, there is a fire that stared on the inside of them to realize that they are important and then light should shine on their inside so that they realize more and more who they are and then become that. <laughs> 